kitabu kile cha kumbu la Torati sura 28 mstari wa kwanza anasema mm. itakuwa utakaposikia sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako kwa bidii ndio kutunza kuyafanya maagizo yote ni kuagizayo leo ndipo Bwana Mungu wako atakapokutukuza juu ya mataifa yote ya duniani na baraka hizi zote zitakujilia na kukupata usikiapo sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako usikiapo sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako Warumi sura ya 8 mstari wa 38 Nasema ndio kwa maana nimekwisha kujua hakika ya kwamba mm. wala mauti sema wala mauti wala mauti ndio wala uzima nyuma yake uh-huh. wala malaika mm. wala wenye mamlaka mm. wala yaliopo Mm. wala yatakayo kuwapo wala wenye uwezo yaliyo juu wala yaliyo chini wala kiumbe kinginecho chochote hakitaweza kututenga na upendo wa Mungu ulio katika Kristo Yesu Bwana wetu sema agano la ahadi yake ndio ya maisha yangu kwamba hakuna jambo lolote linaloweza kunigombanisha na Mungu wangu kunitenganisha na upendo wake kunifarakanisha na ahadi zake kunigombanisha na wema wake katika jina la Yesu uaminifu wa Mungu umejificha chini ya maelekezo ya kiroho kwenye maisha yako maelekezo ya kiroho kwenye maisha yako Mungu alipowapa maelekezo kumi yaliitwa Torah ambayo Kiswahili chetu tumetoa kutoka neno hilo hilo tukaita Torah maana yake maelekezo instructions na zile amri e, tumeziita hivyo kwa sababu kwa upande wetu tunaona kama zinatubana lakini kwake yeye sio amri kwake yeye ni maelekezo ndio maana kayaita maelekezo Torah instructions ndani ya kila maelekezo aliyoyatoa kumefichika uaminifu wake ambao ukidhihirika unaona uzuri wa kile alichokisema hapo nyuma yake. Yaani kwenye yale aliyowaelekeza ndani yake yameficha siri ya uhai unaodumu. Yeye anaishi milele. Yeye ana uzima mkamilifu. Yeye ana nguvu iliyokamilika. Akikwambia tupite njia hii, anajua njia ile inakoelekea imeficha siri inayomfanya yeye kuwa Mungu. Mtu aliyefanikiwa akikwambia tufanye hivi, maana yake anakupeleka kwenye njia yake yeye anayejua, anayejua kwamba hiyo ndiyo njia ya mafanikio. Mtu aliyefaulu akisema tujibu hivi, maana yake hayo majibu ndiyo aliyomfanya yeye yawe yamefaulu. Mungu hajatupa sisi amri za kutukandamiza ametupa sisi maelekezo ya kutufanya tufurahie matokeo ya kutii kwetu anasema kutii ni bora kuliko dhabihu haki ya Mungu inatokana ndani ya yale maelekezo yake watu wengi wanashindwa kuona uaminifu wa Mungu kwa sababu wanataka Mungu awe muaminifu lakini wao wasiwe waaminifu tuko hapa pamoja eh sema wanataka Mungu awe waaminifu Sema wanataka Mungu awe mwaminifu. Wao wasiwe waaminifu. Mungu akujenge kwenye haki. I receive. Mungu akujenge kwenye uaminifu. Sema napokea. Kuanzia leo, njia yako ikapate kufunikwa na Bwana mwenyewe. Mungu sura ya 19 mstari wa 11. Inasema ndio kisha nikaziona mbingu zimefunuka nikaziona mbingu zimefunguka natazama farasi mweupe na yeye aliyempanda aitoe mwaminifu na wakweli 
naye kwa haki au hukumu na kufanya vita sema muaminifu na, kwa, na, na wahaki sema muaminifu na kweli anayefanya hukumu kwa haki neema inatusaidia neema ya Mungu lakini neema hailei dhambi uasi au kukosa uaminifu kwa Mungu neema sio leseni kwamba kwa sababu kuna neema eh, pale wanasema eh, tuzidi kutenda dhambi ili neema izidi kuwa nyingi anasema hapana watu wengi wamechukulia sehemu ya neema kama eneo ambalo wanaweza aka, akaishi maisha yake lakini aka claim aka akajinasibisha kwamba e ni wa Mungu ingawa matendo yake ni tofauti hapa ndipo watu wanapishanaga mahali ambapo Mungu alitakiwa afanye kama Mungu wako anashindwa kwa sababu na anaona haya kuitwa Mungu wako anamwambia adui umemuona mtumishi wangu ayubu umemuona mtumishi wangu ayubu uaminifu wa Mungu si tu kwenye agano la ahadi zake au kwenye agano la madhabahu yake ila kwenye maisha yako unaenda sawasawa na uaminifu wako kwenye maisha yake ukiishi maisha tofauti unakuwa si mwenye haki mbele zake wenzako watakaposimama na kumkumbusha wakiamrisha wewe itabidi ulie na kusihi kwa sababu umekosa leseni ya uhalali kama neema ingekuwa ni bure huyo anayekuja anayeitwa mwaminifu na kweli atakuja kuhukumu kwa haki kwa haki ambayo zako neema sio leseni ya kukufanya uishi maisha tofauti na maelekezo ambayo sisi kule tungeita sheria au torati au amri. Once you begin to live a miss, ukianza kuishi kimakosa, you lose unapoteza the right haki to see ya kuona the faithfulness uaminifu of God. Wa Mungu. How will he stand and be faithful? Atasimamaje na kuwa mwaminifu wali wa unfaithful. Wakati wewe si mwaminifu. Sauli alipoteza ufalme wake. Wakati Mungu alimwapia akamwambia wewe na nyumba ya baba yako ndiye mliyewekewa. Yote yaliyo manono katika nini? Katika Israeli. Yes. Ninyi ndio mliyowekewa. Yaani anaposema nyumba ya babako maana yake kizazi chako, kizazi chenu kimewekewa ufalme. Lakini anakuja kumwambia Samueli kwenye ile Samuel wa pili sura ya, ya, ya kumina sita pale anamwambia ndipo Bwana akamwambia Samueli na juta kwa nini nimemfaka nimefanya Sauli kuwa mfalme juu ya Israeli na asinifuate Mungu akaghairi akajuta kwa nini amefanya hivi akautoa ufalme kwake akampelekea nani akampelekea Daudi Angalia Daudi Mungu amemwapia kwamba siku zote za maisha yako hautakuwa kosa kuwa na mtu atakayekuwa mfalme. Siku zote za kizazi chako hapata kosekana mtu atakayeinuka kuwa mfalme. Anaishi Suleiman baada ya kumaliza ndio yafanya alipoona amepata kila kitu akaishi maisha aliyoyaishi. Akaabudu mpaka na miungu mingine. Mungu akamwambia ufalme kwa sababu umefanya haya ila ninaheshimu agano la Daudi nitapasua ufalme 
hautakuwa mfalme tena wa taifa hili nitalipasua mara mbili mwanao atatawala kabila atakuwa kiongozi wa kabila, makabila mawili na baada ya pale Israeli ikawa imechafuka na kuharibika paka miaka mingi sana baadaye ndio ikaja ikarejeshwa na kupelekwa utumwani tena mara nyingi sana unapowasoma manabii wale kumi na mbili wote kwenye kwenye Biblia ni manabii ambao Mungu alikuwa anawaleta kwa sababu aidha Israeli ilikuwa inataka kupelekwa utumwani wa waokoe kwa sababu Mungu amekasirika au wako utumwani watakiwa waokoe wa warudishe maisha yao yakawa hivyo kwa sababu gani walikosa uaminifu kwa Mungu agano lile lisiwafaidie oh yes tunaenda sawa hapa oh yes sawa so, bwana Yesu bwana Yesu nisikose uaminifu kwa sababu njia isiyo ya haki haidumu utukufu wake haudumu furaha yake haidumu mwisho wake ni uharibifu na mauti shinda kwa halali unaweza kushinda kwa halali if you are to win kama unahitaji kushinda win rightly shinda kwa sawa kwa haki if you win now kama ukishinda sasa behind the closed doors nyuma ya mlango uliofungwa and you lie to us na umetudanganya you are not lying to us hautudanganyi sisi that you are a christian ya kwamba wewe ulikuwa mkristo because the right judge kwa sababu hakim wa haki the faithful nice one wa, you, uh, the mwenye, faithful one muaminifu and the amen na amina and the true na kweli is coming anakuja and he will judge na yeye atahukumu not by grace sio kwa neema he will judge correctly atahukumu sawa sawa all righteousness i'm having a people oh yes kwa nini naongea ya taratibu kwa sababu wa kristo wengi hasa kipindi hiki tunachokiishi wamepoteza nafasi ya uaminifu kwa Mungu ila wanatafuta Mungu aonyeshe uaminifu wake kwao wakati mwingine Mungu ataonyesha uaminifu wake kwako sio kwa sababu we ni muaminifu anaheshimu agano lake anaheshimu hapa kwa mafuta wake anaheshimu madhabahu yake oh, yes lakini muda utakapomhitaji so personal na uaminifu wako unahitajika anasema yeye atakuja ni muaminifu na ni wa kweli akija atakuja kuhukumu kwa haki kama kuna njia yoyote oh yes unayoitembea isiyo ya safi isiyo ya kweli isiyo ya uaminifu Iache. Iache. Oh yes. Iache. Oh yes. Iache. Unataka kumuona Mungu kwa uaminifu wake. Kuna baadhi ya vitu kwenye maisha huwezi kuwa navyo mpaka wewe umesimama kwenye haki ya Mungu. Sawa Bwana Yesu? Bwana Yesu. Nahitaji kumwabudu Mungu katika kweli yote moyo wangu utembee katika uaminifu wako na roho wako anisaidie may you be faithful to god uwe mwaminifu kwa mungu if you want to see the glory kama unataka kuona utukufu that cannot be shaken ambao hauwezi ukatikiswa by anything kwa kitu chochote be faithful uwe mwaminifu You will pass through waters. Utapita katikati ya maji. The waters will fail. Maji yatashindwa. To overtake you. Kuku. Why? Mesa, kwa nini? You are a faithful one. Kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu. When he comes, akija, he see a faithful one. Anaona uaminifu. He becomes so faithful to you. Anakuwa mwaminifu kwako. And the sana. people will wonder. Na watu watashangaa. How did you make it? Umeweza kufanikiwaje? It was not prayer. 
haikuwa maombi au fasting au mfungo faithfulness uaminifu yes faithfulness uaminifu you want to see the faithfulness unataka kuona uaminifu wa Mungu begin to walk in faithfulness anza kutembea kwenye uaminifu you want to see god in your finances unataka kumuona Mungu kwenye uchumi wako be faithful in your financial dealings uwe uaminifu kwenye uchumi wako the shortcut njia fupi to get anything kupata chochote cut it off ikate iondoe tell god mwambie Mungu i want to see how faithful ninataka kuona mbingu i want to be faithful nataka kuwa mwaminifu let me see your faith acha nione uaminifu wako in your job kwenye kazi yako the shortcut ile njia fupi cut it off iondoe say god mwambie Mungu I have been faithful here. Nimekuwa mwaminifu hapa. Show me your faithfulness. Nioneshe uaminifu wako. In your marriage. Kwenye ndoa yako. Be faithful to God. Uwe mwaminifu kwa Mungu. And tell God. Na mwambie Mungu. I have been faithful. Nimekuwa mwaminifu. Show me your faithfulness. Nioneshe uaminifu wako. In your tithing. Kwenye fungu lako la 10. Tell God. Mwambie Mungu. I have shown you. Nimekuonesha. My faithfulness. Uaminifu wako. Show me. Nioneshe. You are faithful. Uaminifu wako. In your action. Kwenye matendo yako. Don't just say no. Usiseme tu hapana. I am a weak human being. Mimi ni mwanadamu dhaifu. That is why he died on the cross. Ndio maana alikufa msalabani. Washed you by the blood. Akakuosha kwa damu yake. And empowered you by the spirit. Na akakupia nguvu kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Once you have the spirit of God. Kisha kuwa na roho ya Mungu. You are not weak. Wewe sio dhaifu. This thing of games. Haya mambo ya michezo. And then you want to see faithfulness of God. Na unataka kuona uaminifu wa Mungu. There is a corner you stand. Kuna kona utasimama. God says, Mungu atasema, You are not right. Wewe hauko sawa. You are wrong. Un, umekosea. And I am a faithful one. Na mimi ni Mungu mwaminifu. And the truthful one. Na m- 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 and m- I judge. Na nina hukumu righteously. Kwa haki. If you want to have spiritual authority. Kama unataka kuwa na mamlaka ya kiroho. And if you want to enjoy the spirit of the, the, the spiritual life na kama unataka kufurahia maisha ya kiroho begin to practice anza kufanyia kazi the life maisha of faithfulness ya uaminifu begin to practice anza kufanyia kazi the life maisha of faithfulness ya uaminifu the bible says biblia inasema faithfulness uaminifu and the practice of righteousness na kujizoeza utaua na kujizoeza utaua profits much yana faida yana thawabu kubwa Do you want to see God? Unataka kumuona Mungu? In some areas where it is impossible Katika to see. Katika maeneo ambayo ni ngumu kumuona. Stand in your place. Simama katika eneo lako. There are doors. Kuna milango. God will open. Mungu atafungua. Only pekee to the faithful ones. Kwa wale waaminifu. His faithfulness. Uaminifu wake and your faithfulness. Na uaminifu wako. They make one yoke. Yanafanya nila moja. For one mission. Kwa ajili ya kusudi moja. For one work. Kwa ajili ya kazi moja. For the same result. Kwa matokeo yale yale. You want to see same result? Unataka kuona matokeo yale yale? But your own ways. Lakini njia zako cut that off. Zikate hizo njia. We need to build a foundation of faithfulness in your personal life. Ika maisha yako binafsi. There is a corner you shall be. Kuna mahali utaingia. It is not the altar. Sio madhabahu that will be needed to answer. Utajika kukujia. It is not the anointing. Upako. That is needed to answer. Utajika kukujia. It is you. Ni wewe. May God anoint. Mungu akupake mafuta. With the grace. Kwa neema. To enjoy. Ya kufurahia. The joy. Ya furaha. Of walking. Ya kutembea. In faithfulness. Kwenye uaminifu. I hear you daddy. In your bones. Kwenye mifupa yako. Bones cry. Mifupa inalia faithfulness uaminifu in your heart kwenye ndani ya moyo wako your heart shouting moyo wako unapiga kelele faithfulness uaminifu in your mind kwenye akili yako your mind shy akili yako inasema faithfulness uaminifu in your action kwenye matendo yako your action shouting moyo yako yanapiga kelele faithfulness uaminifu there is a point you stand kuna mahali unasimama and you tell god na unamwambia mungu choose me nichague mimi or kill me au niue He says Anasef, how can i kill nawezaje kuwa what i live in kile ninachokiishi ndani oh no am i having a church i hear you that 
there is a point kuna mahali you will need God utahitaji Mungu personally binafsi and that will be will come from a foundation na hiyo inatoka kwenye misingi of your faithfulness ya uaminifu when the devil wants to swallow you alive wakati shetani anataka kukumeza ukiwa hai you tell god unamwambia mungu let him swallow me acha nimeze if kama you are not in me hauko ndani yako swallow me nimeze why kwa nini you know unajua you are faithful umekuwa mwaminifu the amen cannot be higher ameni haziwezi kawa kubwa can i tell you something lakini nikwambie kitu god is looking mungu anatafuta for those who worship him wale wanaoabudu not in religion sio katika dini not because they have needs sio kwa sababu wana mahitaji and want na wanataka vitu who want to worship him wale wanaotaka kumwabudu in spirit katika roho and in truth na katika kweli and the david says na, uh, bibi, i have sema. never seen a righteous ya wai kuona mwenye haki for second akiachwa no is descendant wala uz, w- watoto wake begging for bread wakiomba mkate there is an altar of faithfulness kuna madhabahu ya uaminifu in your life kwenye maisha yako that work wonders ambayo inatenda maajabu there is an altar kuna madhabahu of faithfulness ya uaminifu that you rise ambayo unainua and the god na mungu rewards it anaithawabu i don't know sijajua But today lakini leo may it be the beginning iwe ni mwanzo of everyone's life here wa maisha ya kila mmoja mahali ya faithful life ya maisha ya uaminifu as a youth kama kijana walk tembea in faithfulness katika uaminifu he will reward you atakuthawabu when you are aged ukiwa mzee as a christian kama mkristo walk with him tembea naye when you are strong ukiwa na nguvu because when you are weak kwa sababu utakapokuwa dhaifu he will show up atajionesha he will show up ataonekana you want god to show up unataka mungu aonekane be faithful uwe mwaminifu in the area that you are crying katika eneo ambalo unalia that you don't see god ambalo haumoni mungu ask yourself jiulize mwenye how faithful are you nimekuwa umekuwa mwaminifu kiwango gani because you will cry kwa sababu utalia for his faithfulness kwa ajili ya uaminifu wake where you wakati wewe you have nothing about that hauna chochote kuhusu hiyo i want you to be faithful ninataka uwe mwaminifu and this is the day na hii ndio siku you shall begin utaanza to walk kutembea in faithfulness katika uaminifu I receive forget about your yesterday sahau jana yako forget about your yesterday sahau jana yako forget about your yesterday sahau jana yako just make up your mind fanya tu maamuzi yako and he will take you the rest of the journey yeye atachukua sehemu iliyobaki just make up your mind wewe chukufanya maamuzi he will take you through your journey atakupitisha kwenye safari there is nothing this world can offer hakuna kitu ambacho dunia hii inaweza kukupa that is as beautiful as god cannot offer ikatoa kama kizuri ambacho mungu anaweza akatoa if you want to see god kama unataka kumuona there are areas kuna maeneo your ground kusimama kwako kunahitajika your own ground kusimama kwako you just say ah because i'm connected to this altar useme tu kwa sababu nimejiungamanisha na mwanadamu there are areas kuna maeneo god wants to deal with you mungu anataka ashughulike na wewe personal platform katika eneo lako binafsi I want to tell you nataka nikwambie there are areas you never enter kuna maeneo hautaingia if you are a man of shortcuts kama wewe ni mtu wa njia fupi there are things you never enjoy kuna vitu hautavifurahi there is grace you kuna never have hautakuwa nayo if you are not faithful kama wewe si mwaminifu i want to tell you nataka nikwambie faithfulness uaminifu of god wa mungu relates to your faithfulness unaendana na uaminifu wako Don't just enjoy the altar grace. tu neema ya madhabahu. And they say things are happening in my life. Na vitu vinatokea kwenye maisha. The facts that things are happening in your life. Vile vitu vinatokea kwenye maisha yako. It has got nothing to do with your faithfulness. Hazina kitu cha kufanya na uaminifu. But there is an area you need faithfulness. Utahitaji uaminifu. And you tell God. Na unamwambia Mungu, judge me. Ni hukumu. 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 
Rwanda na utashangaa the things that will happen vitu vitakavyotokea faithfulness uaminifu wa Mungu faithfulness uaminifu wa Mungu you just stand and say unasimama tu na kusema father judge me baba ni hukumu today leo may you begin to live uanze kuishi a life of faithfulness maisha ya uaminifu if it is giving kama ni utoa give in faithfulness toa kwa uaminifu if it is in prayer kama ni maombi pray in faithfulness omba kwa uaminifu if you are married kama umeolewa be faithful in your position if you are a single you wewe ni kijana be faithful in your position if you are a widow kama wewe ni mjana au widow au ni ni mjana mwanamume be faithful in your position uwe mwaminifu kwa nafasi whatever you do chochote unachofanya be faithful uwe mwaminifu doors will open milango itafunguka doors will open milango itafunguka doors will open milango itafunguka